Hello friends, welcome to my channel Rex Rahul. In the previous video, we saw how we can create an executable jar using Griddle jar task. You can check out that video if you are using Griddle jar task in your project. In this video, we will learn about creating a fat jar using Griddle shadow jar plugin. So let's get started. We have seen in the previous video that by default jar generated using griddle jar task is not executable. We need two things to make a jar executable. First of all, main class entry in manifest file of jar and second one is if a project has some runtime dependencies then those have to be added in the jar. Let's jump into code and configure those to create an executable jar step by step. Consider this simple Java project having only the main class which creates a person object and prints that object in JSON form in the console. Creating a fat jar also known as an uber jar or executable jar using the griddle shadow plugin is a straightforward process. Here's how to do it. First of all, you will have to add shadow plugin in your Gradle script. So to add that, go to plugins.gradle.org and search for shadow plugin. Copy the ID of the plugin of your project's compatible version from there. Paste the shadow plugin ID in the plugins task in Gradle script of your project. This way, we have applied the shadow plugin to your Gradle build. This means we have added a shadow jar task in the Gradle script. To run a shadow jar task, we will have to run Gradle with a shadow jar task like this. By default, this command will generate a fat jar having all the dependencies. If I show you the contents of this jar, then we can see the runtime dependencies are included in the jar. That means the shadow plugin automatically does the configuration for us to include all the runtime dependencies. Let's try to execute this jar and see if it is executable or not. You'll see that the jar is not executable yet. So it means just applying a shadow plugin in the Gradle build script doesn't make the jar executable. Now we have all the dependencies in the jar. We only have to add the main class entry to make our jar executable. To add main class attribute in shadow plugin, just go to your build script, go to the shadow jar and inside it create manifest and its attribute with main class pointed to your main class. Now our shadow jar plugin is fully configured. Let's try to create the jar again by running gradle shadow jar command. Let's try to execute this jar and see if it is executable or not. It should run. Let's generate our jar using more common gradle build command. Try to execute this generated jar you will see that the generated jar is throwing no main manifest attribute found error. But why? We have configured the main class attribute in shadow jar. Then why it is complaining about not having it? The problem is by default the shadow plugin doesn't configure the build task to depend on the shadow jar task. We will have to configure it. If you want to generate executable jar with the gradle build command, in the Gradle build script, declare that the Gradle's build task is dependent on shadow jar task like this. Now try to execute it and it will run. You can also customize the shadow jar further if needed. For example, if you want to specify a different name of the jar, you can specify using archive base name or if you want to specify the version you can use archive version or you can also specify the archive classifier 
So in this video we learned that Gradle Shadow plugin is a simple way to create a fat jar for your Java application, making it easy to distribute and run your project with all its dependencies included. You can adjust the configuration as needed for your specific project requirements. So that's all for this video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel Rex Rahul.